Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're going to be talking about LibreOffice. Currently I'm using 7.3 in this, but it shouldn't really matter what version, new or old, they should still work exactly the same. So if you don't know what LibreOffice is, it's basically, I guess you could call it a knockoff version of Microsoft Office that's for free. But don't let that fool you. I was actually very impressed with how well this did. I've played around with kind of like the knockoff version of Word and knockoff version of Excel. Uh, it, it works great. I mean, for free, it's awesome. It, it still has a huge community of people, you know, pushing forward with its development, creating add-ons for it that you can download. So it's really cool. It's definitely something to check out. So today we're going to be talking about LibreOffice with the, basically it's Excel, just to say that so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, shout out kind of goes out here, I guess that's G-Swag, maybe is how he's saying it. Uh, he did a lot of the work uh, here, so that was really awesome of him. And so yeah, a lot of the code here uh, at the beginning you're not really going to do much with, you're not going to change. I don't have a hotkey as you can see. Uh, just to kind of show you that it can just, you click it, it'll auto run, and then it'll close out at the end for me. So we're just kind of calling our variable thing here, object uh, osm, com, object create. This is kind of the path here stuff, com, sun, star, service manager. I kind of like the sun, star there. <laughs> uh, so this is basically, we're just like kind of doing like the connection to it. Uh, we're going to call it sheet one which is just our value variable sheet. And then here, we're just gonna grab that name again so that we can use it later on. Now, a lot of this right here is commented out just because this is kind of like some extra stuff. I'm not really gonna show you this stuff, but it's there just in case you kind of wanna expand on the stuff I'm showing you. You can insert like formulas, like you can see here, val uh, variable formula equals one plus one. And then right here, we would like basically be saying like in the next cell or the last cell, you know, put that formula in for us. So there's a few different things here. You can clear contents, set strings, set values, that kind of stuff. So this is just some extra stuff that I threw in there in case you want to play with it. So here we are going to loop. We're just looping 10 times. Obviously, whatever you're doing depends on what you want to change it to or how you want it to exit, break, whatever. And uh, we're just kind of setting up some stuff here. Uh, we're doing A index, so every time you know we loop, we're going one, two, three, and we're just saving that as B C O L. So this is basically just saying like kind of the columns, moving through them and kind of stuff. And we're setting the string to V text, which is from there, which is from there, plus sixty four, so sixty four, sixty five, so on. So yeah. Uh, here's where the stuff that people I think are really going to be interested in. So here we're doing uh, get cell range by name, E10, change that to whatever you want, cell back color. So we're just changing the background color of that specific cell. You don't have to manually put that in here. You could always use an input box and then send the variable here, just get rid of those quotations. And we're just going to be setting it to this color. If you don't know how to do this, just Google uh, and you can find the color. There's lots of websites where you can use like one of those color wheels or manually type it in, that kind of stuff. And it'll spit out the hex code that you will need. So here we're just doing a new sheet. Um, so I guess they're called sheets. And we're gonna display a message box just to kind of show us some information, uh, just to see like how we're grabbing information and putting it in. So here it's gonna say E10, row and that's basically looking at e10 and i want to know what row it's in uh, I, right here i have commented out nine because the answer should be nine then we're going to look at what column is it in well it should be in column four so i just have that there to make sure that it ends up being correct and then what's in that string what information is it displaying and it should just say e10 the reason why is because up here we're doing, you know, the A index and we're moving basically, which you'll see a little better here in a minute. Uh, and you can also get like the value, you can grab the formula, but we'll just do a few basic message boxes. We don't need to see everything. It all works the same. And then here we're going to format. Uh, we're just basically checking like color, all that, as you see here, basically what I explained up there, E10, change it to that, grab that information. And then we're just going to exit the app. 
Now down here is really where you're kind of all the functions are. Uh, there's quite a few lines of code there. Those are stuff you're not going to need needing to change because up here you see that it's being called here. So it's just jumping down there, doing what it needs to do in order to input the information here as a string or whatever we're doing here in this one. Or I guess that one's for opening and stuff. So yeah. Uh, so really all you're going to be playing around with is this kind of stuff for grabbing the text and then this stuff for inputting stuff. Now, obviously you don't have to, to use the loop. You could just, you know, specifically target something and say, you know, hey, E10 do this and A1 do this. So there's a lot of playing around in these two sections here and here that you can do. Just play around. Let me know what you guys do. I'm kind of curious as always. So just let me know. So let's go ahead and find that script. So I got it right here. So I'm just going to double click it. I do not have the program running just so you can see that it does just automatically open it. So here we go. So I just double click that. Now we're just going to kind of wait and it's pretty quick, you know, depending on how fast your program loads. My computer is probably pretty powerful compared to most people. So it might take a few extra seconds. So remember I was saying those message boxes. So we're looking at, you know, nine. So for some reason, I guess I need to fix the math on that. We'll check that here in a second. Nine, row four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, it got that right, E10. So that is what's in there, and it changed the color to red. And then it grabbed, you know, kind of the hex number there, the hex number there, and changed it to yellow. So let's take a look here. So as you saw there, uh, here we go. We changed in, we used a message box basically to change the format and the cell uh, background color. And then we just spit that information back out of us. So this said that it got nine. Let's take a look here. Do, do, do. Please hold for a moment. Yeah, that's really weird. Because it's supposed to grab E10. And it spits it out as row 9. Oh, they're starting the count at 0. Duh. <laughs> so they're basically doing the same thing as you would in an auto hot create script when you're starting a count. Is uh, starting the array or whatever you're doing at 0. Okay, so that was correct. That confused me for a second. So... If you do want like an actual answer compared to there, you can just uh, you know grab that information this way, and then just say like plus one uh, if you want to get what it's actually in when you're visually seeing it. All right, hopefully that helps. Link in the description showing you all this code. Uh, I haven't really used LibreOffice very much, so this was kind of a quick run through. I'll definitely be expanding on this once I learn a little bit more about what kind of stuff LibreOffice has versus Microsoft Office or even the same thing, I guess. But yeah, all right, right on the next one that I do for LibreOffice will be basically the Excel knockoff. So, or sorry, the word knockoff. So definitely keep an eye out on for that. If you guys have any recommendations on anything else I should do with this program, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, doing two to three videos every week for y'all. And I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.